sometimes they want to kick people out. You know, I did a video, they got kicked out of the YMCA, they got kicked out of this and kicked out of that. And Hey, it's Lance McGowan here, and today I'm going to respond to a Reddit post on how a Young Living rep was actually removed from a cat convention. And so there is a little bit of a, you know, post here as you can see, and I'm just going to read that off, and I'm going to read one comment here underneath that. And so basically it says here in the title, Convention Update. So they did a previous Reddit post, and it says, They removed the Young Living rep from the event. Mmm. So they say, thank you all for the reliable links you helped me source. You helped me source to send to a cat convention that originally had a YL rep as one of their exhibitors. I received a canned email response shortly after I contacted them saying that they would look into it. I assumed it was a generic response. However, much to my surprise, I went to check their website and list of exhibits and the YL rep has been removed. Yay! <clears throat> I go on to read here one of the other commenters underneath this that says, Good. The only, all caps, only diffusers I'll use around cats is Feliway. I'm not familiar with that brand, but they go on to say here, I'm not a rep for the company, but working in a vet clinic with stressed out cats day in and day out, that sh works. Mm. Watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they say, but sure as okay, isn't an oil. Mm. I'm still baffled that YL slash DoTerra spout this safe for animals BS when all you need to do is a simple Google search to see what can happen. Mm. 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 When it comes to finding information, there's a, a concept that I teach on some of my videos. It's called confirmation bias, which basically says, if you believe in something, you can find the anything that will affirm that online with a person, an article, a video, you know, a study. It's easy to find stuff that affirms your position or your agenda. The real question should come down to, are they presenting you all the facts? Are they presenting you accurate facts? Are you interpreting those facts correctly? And do they give you the pros and cons of that side as well as the other side that may be for or against it? And that's all questions that you may be like, mm, that's too much work. But at the same time, if you want to really find answers to stuff and really come to accurate conclusions, which is really the main goal, then that is what should be done in order to be more objective and still have your own opinion at the end of the day. But there is a number of commenters that, you know, tack on and add their two cents up and down, you know, in here. So it's, you know, it is what it is, but... They got somebody kicked out of a cat convention. Essential oils can be safe for animals, specifically cats and dogs. I do have videos that talk about that and what oils to use and what oils to not use. With regards to cats, you don't want to use Melaleuca. I cover that in my video. That's the short of the long video. Actually, it's not even really a long video. It's just a video. But anyways, and there's different oils for dogs. And a lot of times, just using aromatherapy or diluting them and applying them in specific areas like on the stomach, diluting with a carrier oil like fractionated coconut oil first, um, depending on what their health priority is. So there's, you know, there's, there's a whole other process to learn the benefits and uses. You don't just want to be like, all right, he said use some oils and blah, blah, blah. you know, like, <laughs> you know. You, if you watch my videos on those two things or send me a message, I can give you a direct link to that. That'll be a good starting point. And from there, conversations can occur with regards to the best application or best benefits and uses of that. And so, yes, there's a little bit of, you know, education side of things and, you know, make sure your proper usage side of things too. But anyways, that is it for today's video. You know, people have some interesting agendas with stuff and sometimes they want to kick people out. You know, I did a video, they got kicked out of the YMCA, they got kicked out of this and kicked out of that. And people just, when they... It follows a process of first you have to have awareness of something, then you understand something, then you appreciate it. 
These people don't appreciate it because they don't understand it or don't want to understand it, but they are aware that essential oils from Young Living or doTERRA or wherever are out there. And so what my encouragement is, is it's not just to be aware of something, which is the first step, I get it, but to understand both sides, try to be more objective, and gain an appreciation of something, even if you don't like or agree with it, and that is possible. I know it sounds impossible, but you can appreciate something even if you don't like or agree with it. Like, I don't appreciate high pollution semi trucks that spout out black smog in the middle of the air and then I have my air conditioner on and it comes into my car. Like, I don't appreciate that very much because I'm now asking myself if I should use some lemon oil or wild orange detox from this driving experience because they didn't or maybe they did pass their smog test, I don't know, but anyways, the black smoke and the carbon monoxide is all up in my car. Unless I turn the little switch for the, you know, the air conditioner where it just circulates the air inside the car and then that doesn't happen. But anyways, <clears throat> my point is I appreciate, you know, industrialized large truck transportation because it helps, you know, deliver goods and services to and fro. But at the same time, I don't like that form of, you know, pollution and, and transportation because it's really toxic carbon monoxide fumes and I don't agree with that. I mean, Tesla is coming out with their own electric truck, which is pretty cool. But, you know, there's other ways that, you know, things could be potentially delivered with maybe using more electric technology or hybrid technology or cleaner fuel or stuff like that. And so that's an example for, you know, like you may appreciate something but not like or agree with it and it is possible anyways that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching hit that like button if you did hit subscribe for future video updates and most importantly check out the links in the description below so you can continue to get your learn on and i will see you in the next video